UC San Diego's Jair Siqueira Neto is originally from Brazil. He says Zika is already affecting friends and family back home. My father, for instance, he had uh, Zika, uh, so it's, it's really common. Yet there aren't any drugs to fight the virus. The race is on to develop effective treatments for Zika, and Siqueira Neto plans to test tens of thousands of potential treatments using this drug screening robot. But first, he'll need to identify which chemical compounds to study. To do that, he's joining forces with researchers in Brazil and the U.S. to use a virtual drug screening platform hosted by IBM called OpenZika. It's a process that's going to take a lot of computing power. Siqueira Neto says anyone can help by donating unused computational power from their computers or Android smartphones and they would have to download a software uh, for their computer or an app for their Android phones and simply say uh, whenever uh, the processor is not working for things that I need, it will be used to do the calculations for the project. Developing a drug for Zika could take 10 years or more. But Sequeira Neto says if enough people pitch in at this early stage in the process, scientists could find effective Zika drugs sooner rather than later. David Wagner, KPBS News.